Hi everyone, my name is Alexa Ortega and today we are going to be doing a full body HIIT workout. You are not going to need any weights, just your body weight. So let's go ahead and warm up, making sure our muscles are fired up. We're going to start off with inchworms. You want to go to the edge of your mat, hang down, feel that stretch in your hamstrings, walk out with your hands into a plank. Once you are flat in a plank, go ahead and walk in with your feet until you can't walk in anymore. Kind of like a worm, that's why it's called inchworms. Slowly come up, vertebrae by vertebrae, neck and shoulders being the last thing to roll up. Let's go for two more, just like that, same thing. So stand hip width apart, go ahead and slide down. When you hang out right here, you're gonna feel that nice stretch in the back of your legs. Go ahead and walk it out again. Start connecting to your breath. Walk in with your feet and slowly roll up. And then let's go ahead and go the opposite way. So last one, this time you're gonna hang down. You're gonna walk out with your feet until you get into plank. And from here, walk back in with your hands until you can't walk in anymore. And slowly come up and roll up. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get on the ground. So we wanna open up our posterior chain. And how you're gonna do that, you're gonna get on all fours on the ground. You're gonna place one hand behind your neck. You're gonna bring the opposite leg and elbow out to the side six times. So this is really good for firing up the back side of the body. I'm already feeling that in my glutes. When you're done with six, go ahead and switch sides, other side. Last two. All right, last one. Okay, go ahead and stand up. We're gonna open up our hips. So go for those hip openers, knee up, all the way out to the side. Go for six. For those of you who sit down all the time, you really wanna make sure you do this one. Warm up those hips and those hip flexors. Okay, go ahead and tap your foot. Keep that chest up. Nice straight legs. And we're gonna go ahead and do our last one. Standing hip width apart, take it down in a squat. You're gonna open up both ways. So warming up your upper and middle back. Go for six. This is gonna cause you to really fire up the glutes since you're staying in a squat. Go for two more. Last one. All right, we are all warmed up. Now, the first exercise that we're gonna do is just gonna be regular air squats. We're gonna work for a total of 40 seconds, rest for 20 seconds. Do your best to keep up with me. Okay, we wanna bring everything we've got because we get rest right after. Here's the first one, I'm gonna show you from the side. Stand hip width apart, get ready. You're literally just gonna squat. Here we go. Go ahead and get started. Find a tempo that works for you. So don't go too slow, but don't go too fast either. Find somewhere in the middle of that fast and slow pace. Already starting to feel that in the legs. Make sure you're pushing your butt back. Weight in the heels. This is going to be a burner today. Oh my. The fact that I'm feeling it first exercise already. So if you can, follow my tempo. Get down when I'm down. Get up when I'm up. We're almost there. Three, two, get one more in. Rest 20 seconds. Up next. Still working on the legs, getting that heart rate up. You're gonna go ahead and tap and jump it up. Tap, jump it up. Or if you don't wanna jump, tap and tap. You just wanna get your hips down. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Jump it down, jump it up. So frog leaps. Whew. Keep that booty nice and low. And again, go to pace that's really challenging, but sustainable for you, the idea. Let's get your heart rate nice and high and work those legs. We already did squats, so I'm feeling it. 20 seconds to go. Hang in there. Channel whatever you've got right now. Use it for this move. Okay, now's the time to experience how strong you are. Push yourself. You want to get uncomfortable. We don't get results staying in the comfort zone. Here we go. Three, two, one. Take a break. All right, up next. Whew. 
I'm gonna catch my breath there. <laughs> Up next, you should be feeling like you're out of breath. That's how you know you're pushing enough. If not, take up the pace. So, we're gonna go for three pulses. One, two, three on the third one. Explode up, here we go. One, two, three, explode up. One, two, three, explode up as high as you can. How high can you jump? Show me, I know your heart's pounding right now. You're probably feeling like you're running out of air, but you're so much stronger than you think, so keep going, okay? Again, one, two, three, jump up as high as you can. Embrace that uncomfortable feeling of your heart racing, knowing you are more than capable. All right, eight seconds, stay with me. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. All right, up next. So, again, more with the legs. What we're gonna do next. You're gonna go ahead and do a squat. Stand up in two curtsy lunge, and then we'll go to the other side. Squat, stand up, curtsy lunge. Here we go, get started. So squat it down, stand it up first, curtsy lunge on the side. Squat it down, stand it up, curtsy lunge to the side. Whew, if you're like me, you are feeling it, but guess what? We are so lucky that we can actually move our bodies, right? So. With that, don't forget that that's a gift. You wanna go ahead and really give your best. For every workout, you wanna change your body? Do the work. Right now, six seconds, stay with me. Five, four, three, two, one more curtsy lunge. Take a break. All right, so the next move, really wide stance. You're gonna go ahead and squat it down and stand back up. It's a sumo squat, so it's a lot wider than you're used to. Really wide stance, nice lift squat, drive it up. Whew. Wow, every time we do legs and it's a hit workout, I feel it right away. But you know what? It's totally worth it. It's gonna increase our endurance, our strength, and it's gonna go ahead and build muscle while also losing fat, which is what we want, right? Changing our body composition. Here we go, let's go for two more squats. Last one, take a break. All right, now we're gonna combine what we did in the first move. Now you're taking in just simple pulses. So I'm gonna show you from the side. Stand hip width apart. All you're gonna do, nice and low, you're just gonna pulse here the whole 40 seconds, okay? Time under tension. So right now you're down and low, weight in the heels, you are just pulsing and you're feeling that burn in your legs. Oh my goodness. Stay with me though. We got this. Again, anytime you feel like you wanna rest, do one more rep, more than you think you could do. Always push yourself a little bit farther. 15 seconds, stay with me. Keep pulsing, come on, I'm with you. How you doing? I know you're working. I'm working too. Stay down with me for eight, seven, six, almost there, five. Four, three, two, one, take a break. So now we're gonna go ahead and work on our arms. Rest those legs, we challenge them a lot. We're gonna get down on the ground to start, starting off with mountain climbers. It's like you're running on the ground, working our core, our heart, and our shoulders. Okay, get ready. Here we go, three, two, one. Go at whatever pace is gonna challenge you. Again, it's like you're running on that ground. We want to keep our heart rates up. You know what I mean? Are you feeling it right now? I'm feeling it. Like I said, I'm with you. You are not alone. We're both going through this right now. Focus on your breathing. Bring that speed. Visualize that finish line being right there. So we want to get to the finish line quick, right? So increase that speed. Here we go. Last 10 seconds. Stay with me. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. All right. Whew. Go ahead and stand up. Yeah, this is definitely a challenging one. I am feeling it. Holy cow. So, up next, we're gonna go for high knees. And I'm not gonna start until <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and do this. 
high knees. Here we go. Bring those knees up nice and high. It's like you're jogging, except now those knees are coming up as high as you can. If you want a reference point, place your hand right there and do your best to tap it. Okay. Woo. My heart is racing. I know yours is 220 seconds. Keep that pace. Come on, how fast can you go? Pick it up a little bit quicker. Come on, stay with me. Here we go, 10 seconds, everything you got. You want to know that you gave yourself a shot and gave everything for this workout. Three, two, one. 20 second rest, okay. We are back down on the ground to work on our upper body. These are called pike push-ups. So they're done differently than regular push-ups. Regular push-ups, your chest is parallel to the ground. You're gonna walk your feet up a little bit more in this position. You're gonna go ahead and push up. So as you can see, it's like I'm in a downward facing dog. I'm targeting my shoulders as well as my chest and my triceps. So my feet are a lot closer than I would in a regular push-up. Get that shoulder burn. Oh my goodness. Breathe. Keep thinking about leading with your arms. Bend those elbows and stick with it. Like I said, do one more rep than you think you can every time. All right. So we're gonna stay down on the ground, still working on the shoulders. And the core, if you are with me, you should be feeling this like crazy. Up next, we're gonna start out in a plank, but then here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna tap, tap, bring your hand out, bring your hand out. Here we go, so tap, tap, reach, reach. Just think tap and reach, tap, tap, reach, reach. A great way to check your coordination, balance, and strength. Stay with me, how you feeling? You feeling it yet? Yeah? I know I am, but the cool thing is we're almost halfway through, so you gotta stay with it, right? You wanna keep that energy up. Here we go, last nine seconds. Keep tapping, keep that butt nice and flat so your butt should not be up on the ground. Here we go, three, two, one. Breathe, bring your heart rate down. Down on the ground, we're gonna go for W. Superman's up next. So, on your stomach, you're gonna go ahead and place your arms out this way like you're forming a W. You're gonna bring your upper body and your lower body up. Hold for a second and lower it down. So this is a chance for you to bring your heart rate down, but still work. So bring the upper body and lower body as high as you can. Working on our backs, our flexibility, and our mobility. You want to hold for a second at the top. I mean, even with this, not doing cardio, but because of the short rest, we're still working on cardio cardiovascular system. Breathe. Nice and high and lower it down. All right. What is next, you're asking? So we're going to do a combination. We haven't done this one before. In a plank, typically when we do up downs, we do the opposite arm. You're just gonna go down on one arm first. So down, back up on your hand. All right, here we go. Down on your forearm, back up on your hand. Same arm, down on your forearm, back on your hand. Until I tell you to switch arms, you're gonna stick with that one arm. And it's a lot more challenging than doing the up downs when you're alternating your arm because all the weight is placed on that other arm holding you up. Go ahead and switch sides, down on your forearm, up on your hand, down on your forearm, up on your hand. Nice deep breaths. Down on your forearm, up on your hand. Stay with me. If you're feeling your heart race, you're in the right spot. Your heart should be racing. That's how you know you're working. Okay, go ahead and get in this position. It's called a bear push-up, so Rather than a regular push-up, again, you're gonna do a regular push-up first, and then you're gonna go into a downward dog, stretch it out. 
Okay, if you can't do push-ups, go on your knees, get started, push up, and then stretch out your back. This is a bear crawl push-up. So again, push up and downward dog stretch. Alternating between those two moves. If you don't think you could get a good workout with just your body weight, well, this workout is about to prove that idea wrong because there's a lot we can do with just our bodies. Whew. Ooh, enjoy that shoulder burn. Keep going though, don't stop. We're getting close, we've got one more. All right. Now, go ahead and get back down on the ground, I promise you. So this is gonna be our last one on the ground before we get up. All you're gonna do we're gonna go for lat pull downs in a Superman position. So coming up, you're gonna go ahead and drive those elbows down with a lat pull down, and then you're gonna bring your chest down. So again, arms out, come up in a Superman, lat pull down, activating your lats, bring those elbows down to the side, and then release. Resetting every time. Whew. I'm feeling this, y'all, I know you are too. Release. Nice straight arms, reach. Bring those elbows down, release, reach, elbows out to the side, release, keep on going, come on, reach as high as you can, elbows out to the side, and down, reach, okay, so I lied, we got one, one more on the ground, last one, we're gonna lay on our backs this time, okay? So, laying on your back, what you're gonna do, you're gonna do a combination of a leg raise and our reverse crunch. So two movements. Get ready, here we go. Leg raise, nice, slow, and controlled. When you're back up to here, reverse crunch. So you're gonna bring your butt up, off the ground. Again, get your heart rate down here. But oh my gosh, this is a really good core workout. So even though we're working our, I mean, even though our heart rates aren't as high, holy cow, this is working your core good. <sighs> Leg raise, back up, butt up off the ground. Relax your neck. It's just flat on the mat, just like your back. <sighs> okay, like I said, we're back up this time. So what's gonna be next, you ask? Well, we're gonna do a combination. So actually for this move, we're gonna go down and up. We're gonna be up and down. We're gonna go four high knees, one, two, three, four and then get down on the ground for four mountain climbers. So here we go. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Going back and forth between those moves. Four mountain climbers, four high knees. Again, okay, stay with the speed. Now's the time to channel whatever energy you've got and not slow down, okay? I'm working with you. I know it's hard, but this is what builds mental toughness. Stay with me, come on, keep moving. We're almost there, we got 12 seconds. Keep that heart rate up. Come on, what can you show yourself in six seconds? Here we go, three, two, one. Bring the heart rate down. You should feel like this. Hands on knees, right? If you're working. All right. <laughs> Back to upper body. Again, we're down on the ground. So, to start, laying on your back first, you're just doing regular sit-ups, okay? Regular sit-ups, but then cross. Side sit-up into regular sit-up at the front. So first you're going into a regular sit-up in the middle, and then you're crossing and twisting your body right and left. So, side to side sit ups and center sit ups. And then after this, I'm gonna keep you guessing. What's next? Are we doing upper body, lower body? Well, you'll see. You gotta pay attention. Stick with it. One more rep. Okay, so, work in our upper bodies because a lot of the times, as women, we don't really work the upper body as much as lower body. We wanna change that. We wanna make sure our bodies are balanced. So, if you do these on your knees, that's okay. 
But what we're gonna do, we're gonna do wide push-ups, hands back in, narrow push-up. Or you're gonna go on your toes, wide push-up, hands right next to each other, narrow push-up. So you're going back and forth between that. You want some nice triceps, strong arms, just like your legs. Guess what, we get to work our upper bodies too. And I promise you, the more you do this, the more you build that strength and your push-ups will get better. But in order for us to get better, we have to master the move first. And mastery comes from repetition and discipline. All right, let's go for one more rep. Here we go. All right. Whew. So we're gonna work on our core and we're still on the ground. <laughs> Just because you're on the ground doesn't mean you're not working. I mean, you can tell your heart rate's up. Regular plank, but we're gonna start with one leg up in the air. You get to choose which leg is first. Here we go. So that takes a lot of leg strength, that leg that is holding you up right here. Oh my gosh, it's flexed. Like my quad right now is working a lot actually. Keep that leg up. This is a really great leg workout too. I mean, having to hold your leg flex like this the entire time. That's not easy. Stay with it though, we're almost there. Can you hold this for 10 seconds? Yes, you can. That rest is coming up. Here we go, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, thank goodness for that rest. Obviously we're gonna go for the other side. Okay, I know it took a lot of effort to hold up that one leg. Anything you're holding, isometric holds, it's really gonna build that strength. Holy cow, it is hard though. But again, you're not here to do a comfortable workout, are you? You're here to change your body and do a challenging workout. Here we go, other leg up. Shift your weight forward. Hang on, I did that leg, it's this leg. That's up. Yeah, you gotta remember which leg you used, right? Keep that leg up, flex it, stay with it. Breathe. If you're feeling it in your shoulders, Guess what, we just get to build stronger shoulders. 15 seconds to go. Almost there. Ooh, it's burning, but you can do this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and take a break. Oh, go ahead and roll those shoulders back. So, up next, we're going for burpees now. You're thinking, oh God, burpees, I know, it's challenging. Let me show you a modified version in case you don't wanna jump. If you don't wanna jump, you're gonna go ahead and take a step back, step in, stand. That's the modified version. Or get started, jump out in, and jump up. So again, come on, burpees for just 40 seconds. If you pace yourself, you can totally do this. <sighs> Breathe with me. You feeling that yet? I know I am, 20 seconds, come on. But we wanna leave this workout knowing we gave our absolute best, right? That's why we're here, to push ourselves. That way we can take that out in real life. Here we go, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, catch your breath. I'm gonna catch my breath too, so standing back up. Keep that chest up. We're gonna work our arms. You wanna go ahead and place your forearms together. This looks easy, but I'm telling you, if you keep your arms together and pulse up like this, prayer ups, oh man, they burn. Oh my goodness. Keep pulsing up and don't mind the hard breathing. I gotta catch my breath. Like y'all, if you guys are not having a hard time, man, you get to push harder because I can barely breathe right now, still recovering from those burpees. So keep those forearms together. Pulse upward, here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, you should feel that right here in your chest. Shake it off. We're back down on the ground for core and cardio. So, half burpees. You're not standing up at all. 
I'll show you what they are once the timer starts because I need that rest like you guys. All right, here we go. You're gonna jump it in and jump it out. And then you're gonna jump it out this way and in. So in, out this way, out, in both ways. All right, you get to choose your own speed. But again, make sure you're working. Here we go. Come on, push yourself. We've got 15 seconds to go. Now's the time to harness whatever strength you've got. That second wind is there. Here we go, seven, six, five. Pick up the speed, four, three, two, one. You're out. Take a second. Your heart rate is gonna be up there. We want it back down. So we're standing up again. I'm gonna stand up. We're gonna work our shoulders. This is a great move if you're traveling. All you need right now, follow me. Up, down, out to the side. Up, down, out to the side. Follow my pace. Keep that neck relaxed. Oh my gosh, this is, you would never think that this would be a shoulder burn, right? Oh boy, it definitely is. Oh my goodness, keep going. I know you wanna stop. I feel it too when the muscles get really sore and that lactic acid is building, but that's where the mindset comes in, okay? This is where you channel your inner warrior. Okay, breathe, relax that neck. Here we go, five, four, stay with me. Three, two, one, release. Let those shoulders rest. A tad bit, we're going back to cardio. <laughs> so time to bring the heart rate back up. Here's what we're gonna do. Leaning forward on one leg, you're gonna go ahead and drive your hands into your knees as fast as you can. Here we go, three, two, one, going for speed. So just because we're doing cardio right now and you feel like it's easier, then you push harder. Okay, you don't want it to be easy just yet. The easy comes when we are stretching and relaxing and we are not quite there yet. Give everything you've got. Stay with me, 20 seconds. Come on, channel that strength. Keep driving that knee into your hands and keep that pace. Breathe. All right, pick up that pace for five, four, three, two, one. We're getting close to the end. <laughs> we still got a couple more though. Save that energy, I'm gonna save that energy for the next side, but you get the gist. If you're feeling like you wanna quit already, don't because we're close, but that just means you're pushing yourself, so good job. You ready? Here we go, other side, come on. Bring that pace. Show yourself how strong you are. Do it for you. It's work and we're worth it, right? We are so worth it. Come on, keep bringing that knee up. We've got 20 seconds to go. Now's the time to channel into your why. Why do you exercise? Why, why is it important to you? Once you're connected to that, then you can channel that energy and find that you've got more than you thought you had. Come on, stay with me. Three, two, one. Take a break. All right, now, we're gonna go ahead and do lateral shuffles. So, I'm gonna go side to side on my mat. You don't need a lot of space, but we wanna work on all planes. So here's what it's gonna look like. You're gonna shuffle, tap the ground, shuffle, tap the ground, go for speed. Bring that butt down, shuffle to the other side. So you always wanna train side to side, front and back, rotate. Keep moving, come on. Stay low in the legs. Keep going. Breathe. Hang in there, we've got 13 seconds. How you feeling? You feeling it with me? All right, here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Uh. I'm gonna catch my breath. We're gonna go ahead and do more cardio standing up. But let me catch my breath. 
Here we go. You're gonna follow me. In three, two, one. Out, out, in, in. That's all you're doing. Stay low in the legs. Out, out, in, in. How are you? You feeling it? Is it challenging? If it is, you're in the right spot. If it's easy, then you get to take it up a notch. Come on, join us, 20 seconds to go. Keep that pace. Stay focused. It's just you and your workout right now. Nothing else matters. This is your time. What are you gonna do with this time? 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're out. Okay, we're getting to the last couple of exercises. So that should give you some relief. I mean, it's giving me relief because this is hard. So, up next, we're down on the ground. We're gonna do a side plank twist. I'm gonna show you what that is. So you're up in a side plank, you're twisting in, standing up, I mean, coming out and then dipping your hip again. In, out, hip dip. Twist it in, twist it out, dip your hip. Stay with me, 20 seconds to go. Really twist in as much as you can. We wanna get a great core workout, just like we're getting a great cardio and leg workout and arm workout. Here we go, eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more rep. All right, you know what that means, other side. Always gotta do the other side. Now's the time to ask yourself, again, why are you exercising? You wanna get really connected to that reason because on all the days when it feels inconvenient to exercise, your why is gonna keep you consistent. Here we go, other side. So again, what is your why? Is it because you wanna be able to carry your kids, keep up with them? Is it because you just wanna look great? Feel great, whatever it is for you. Stay connected to it. Tap that hip, again, twist. Oh, this is a shoulder burner too. 15 seconds to go though. Stay on track, do not quit right now. Here we go, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last rep. Okay, we're going back to cardio. So standing back up. So this one, pretty easy. Everyone knows what jumping jacks are, right? Easy jumping jacks, but just because they're easy, doesn't mean we can't make it more challenging by picking up that pace. We wanna end on a high note. Let's go. Come on, pick up that pace. Nice, fast jumping jacks. When you jump out, jump as wide as you can. Good. You're doing amazing. You've stuck with this workout this long. You might as well finish really strong. You're gonna be so proud of yourself when we're stretching, knowing you gave it everything. Absolutely everything, 15 seconds. Pick up the pace, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're back down on the ground. It's a lot of up downs, but guess what? It's part of the workout, having to move your muscles up and down. In real life, we get up and down all the time. So down on the ground, you're gonna go ahead and do reverse dead bugs and a leg raise. So, reverse dead bugs into regular leg raise. You're going back and forth between these moves. Get your heart rate down, but work your core, okay? Reverse dead bugs first, and then you can keep your hands up here. Leg raise, work in your upper and lower core. Stay with me. We're getting close to the end. How you doing, you doing okay? You feeling that burn yet like I am? Whew. All right, wow, that went by a lot quicker than I thought. That's what happens when you're in the zone. Okay, so we're gonna do a combination of frog glute bridges and a sit-up. So you're gonna do a sit-up first 
and then you're gonna alternate between that and a frog glute bridge. Here we go, so sit up, back down, heels are together, push your hips up, squeeze your glutes, bring it back down. Ooh, since we just did an, a core exercise, you're probably really gonna feel it in the core. Totally fine, let me move forward so I don't hit my head on that weight. <sighs> Stay strong, legs together, glute bridge into sit up. Guess what, we only got 13 seconds left. Here we go, glute bridge into frog sit up. Come on, stay with me. Glute bridge into frog sit up. Let's go for one more. All right, now we're back up on the ground, standing up, going for more cardio. So with this one, you're gonna do a combination of jump lunges into a squat jump. Here we go, three, two, one, so it's a jump lunge into a squat jump. Back in two, jump lunge, squat jump. Man, if this does not get your heart rate up, I do not know what will. Jump lunge into squat jump. Oh, are you feeling that in your legs yet? And in your heart, holy cow, I am. And we're halfway through. <sighs> Shake it off, I know I had to for that lactic acid buildup, oh my goodness. Here we go. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, okay. Oh, let me bring my heart rate down. I'm here with you guys, still working. <laughs> we got one more, one more cardio move. Oh, it's gonna be butt kickers. I can't even talk. But you know what, I'm giving everything. So you better be bringing everything too. Here we go, three, two, one, butt kickers. So you're tapping your butt with your heels. Get them high, make them tap. This is our last exercise. So give it everything you've got. Come on, let's go. Finish line's right there. Picture us running together and the crowd's cheering. Come on, here we go. 15 seconds, pick up that pace. That rest is coming up soon. You don't want to be comfortable until we rest. Bring it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. Take a break. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and work on lower body hamstrings with a single leg deadlift. You don't need any weight. You're just gonna slide your hand down your knee. Okay, you'll feel that in your hamstring, stand back up. You do have to work on staying stable. So again, whew, even staying stable for me is work. So slide it down, stand up, and breathe. Okay, whew, I'm feeling that in my hamstring. This is gonna really work your glutes and your hamstrings. Do your best to stay balanced. You're gonna be more balanced on one leg. Here we go. Breathe, relax. Okay, shake it off, up next. The other leg, again, you're gonna find that one leg is more stable than the other. That's okay, that's normal. We wanna strengthen both legs. So get ready, plant that feet, that foot <laughs> solid on the ground. Here we go, three, two, one. Slide your hand down that leg. Feel that stretch in your hamstrings, then stand up fully. If you're doing this right, you're gonna feel it right here back of your leg and your hamstrings. And if you lose balance, that's okay. You just gotta go ahead and reset and do it again. Like, it, like every time you do it again and again, that's building mastery because of repetition. <sighs> At least we get to bring the heart rates down here, right? We're still working, it's active recovery. Here we go, four, three, two, one, now guess what? We're gonna go with both our legs, plant it on the ground. This is not a deadlift, but a good morning. So we're working our hamstrings and glutes. Up next, hands behind your head. Slight bend in the knees, weight in the heels. You're gonna push your butt back as far as you can. And then you're gonna stand up, that's it. Weight in the heels. Hips up, push your butt back, feel that nice stretch in your hamstrings. And then drive through the heels. 
There you go. But guess what? We do have to end on a cardio note because I want to end with our heart rates high. So after this move, we're going to end with a cardio movement and bring our heart rates back up super high. Why? Because it's fun. There's nothing better than challenging yourself and giving 100%. Stay with me. Work on getting that heart rate down so we can get it back up. Okay, so, are you ready for the final move? All this cardio again. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do lateral bounds. You're gonna go one, two, three, and you're gonna explode up on the third one. All right, so you wanna go as fast and as high as you want, as you can. Here we go, three, two, one. So one, two, three, explode up as high as you can. Stay low in the legs. Come on, this is the last 40 seconds you're gonna work. Don't you wanna give it everything? <sighs> high as you can. Fast, 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 high as you can. Come on. <sighs> you're strong, you got this. You can, come on, 15 seconds. <sighs> Concentrate. Don't stop now. Bring that speed for the last 10 seconds. <sighs> Here we go, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Okay, that was great. You guys did amazing. If you're like me right now, hands are on knees because we gave it everything in this workout. Whew. Let's go ahead and cool down. Get on your back on the ground, stretching out the lower back first. Holy cannoli. Oh, bring the heart rate down. The knee is gonna come up to the side and you're gonna bring it all the way down. You're gonna feel this in your lower back. Take a couple of deep breaths right here. And just acknowledge the work and the effort that you put into your workout. Great work. Now is the time to relax, right? Okay, other knee up, bring it back down. If you're like me, your back will crack. If it doesn't crack, that's okay. Now go ahead and grab one knee, pull it down towards your chest, and take a couple of deep breaths right here. Soaking in all those endorphins. Still feeling my heart pound out of my chest, but at least now it feels really good because the endorphins are coming in Switch legs, grab that other knee, pull it up towards your chest. Take a couple of deep breaths right here. We're gonna get on all fours. Stretch out your back by doing cat cows. Take your time with this one. Arch your neck and your back. Breathe. Go ahead and place one arm through. Get that shoulder blade flat on the ground. Hang out right here. And switch sides. Other side. Doesn't that feel so good? Working, giving 100% and now resting. Chest on the ground, hands right by your chest. You're gonna push up, hold yourself up right here. Stretch out your triceps, lower back, and core. Now we're gonna take it into a child's pose. So open up your hips. We're gonna stretch out the spine in the opposite direction. Okay, go ahead and take it into a lunge. Heel forward, stretch that way. Feel that nice stretch right here. Twist your body open. Hold for a couple of seconds here. Now lengthen this front leg. Stretch out the hamstring. And switch sides. Bring the other heel forward.
stretch into that. Go ahead and twist open. Hold. That breeze feels so nice. Go ahead and lengthen this leg and reach down. All right, we're gonna stand up. You're gonna clasp your hands behind your back. Stretch out that chest right here. Plant those feet solid on the ground. Inhale up. Exhale out. Let's go for one more. Inhale it up. And exhale it out. Being proud of the work and the energy that you brought for you today. Really, really great job. I hope to see you again so we can work out and harness our strength. Have a great day, everyone.